My name is Tosin Ogundoin, and then people call me Lucy because it's easier for them to pronounce. And I'm originally from Nigeria. I came to South Africa in 2005 to study, and then i had done three years um, at varsity in Nigeria, studying medical um, medicine. But then when I came to South Africa, I had to start again from matric. Yeah. <laughs> So I did one year matric and then I, had, I was studying in 20 University of Technology in Pretoria. So I was studying um, to become a metallurgical engineer. I remember in 2009, my boyfriend then, it was write, we were writing our final ex, he was writing his final exam. And then, you know like, already you studying three years of medicine, you come in again to start again, like even your parents are tired of you. So we're like the two black sheep in our family. because. He was also studying medicine, I was studying medicine and then we had to come and start from scratch. So like, we had to always like find something to do, you know, and then, so we, we used to buy clothes. So first of all, like I went to the UK, I think in 20, 2007, I went to like do like work and then come back so just to save money and come back. So I think going to the UK, and before I went to the UK, we used to be waiters and waitresses. So I think going to the UK and coming back, like it changed my perspective entirely. And then for my boyfriend, then like he went to America to do like the study, that study student or whatever program where you work as well. So you coming back, like it just changed your perspective. So when I came back, I saw Avon in the UK. And when I came back, I saw Avon here. So I joined Avon just for me to be able to make extra income as well. Because like, you know, like with the wait, wait train hours, sometimes they're very long and things like that. So we used to sell Avon, I used to sell Angel. So I used to do all those things. So the thing about the Ruto's business, Ruto's hair then was, we were selling wigs and hair extensions. And it was more for the middle class, the high class woman. So you get like big cars coming to the house to come and look for us, to come and buy, um, buy our lace wigs. So people were now wondering, what do these guys do? And don't forget we're Nigerians. And Nigerians are linked to drugs, <laughs> yes. So then we had to now look for a space, like a shop space, so that we'd be able to sell the extensions so we now then found this space but then you know, we started from a very small space and when we were going to start we didn't have anything we just brought our chair our reading table from the house our chair we used to put the mirror on a on a carton and then people would use the seat so we started like that you know very slow, very slow. yeah so the thing is I, I personally have like dry and itchy scalp so you know when you wear the extensions when women wear the extensions they go they keep patting your head. So like I keep so like you know like you just keep researching, making the research to find out. Because with research I'm very because remember I did metallurgical engineering and we used to do a lot of research work. So like with research like I am quite good in research. So you know just kept doing that stuff to see um what can be done, like what can I use to remedy my itchy scalp, you know? And then I found like a formula. So I tried it on myself, it started working. And then I started trying on my clients as well, and then was working for them, and they were very happy that they don't need to part their scalp, they, even if they're wearing their extensions. But then the problem we now had was, you know, like you have this formula you make in the kitchen. So if clients come into the shop, they do their treatment. But when they go out there, remember, clients are not they're not always staying with you, you understand? They always go somewhere else. So like, but then when they go to another salon, their hair gets damaged again. When they're coming back to you, then you have to start from scratch again to try to fix that problem so we now have to find a way like to fix to package that product into like a formula then we now found a cosme like a cosmetician and we now thought that okay this is the formula that we're using at the moment we want to be able to make it stable then she now used that formula that we use at the kitchen then she just used like a chemical like things that will be balanced like chemically here yeah, just to make that formula like more stable to be able to be sold to anybody so that if only if clients come into the shop and they don't want to come for the treatment they can buy their kit and then they can go home to do the treatment or they can take it to another salon to do the treatment but what we now noticed was because for the Ruto's brand is every product we have made we didn't just make that product because someone else is making the product we make our product because we see the need of that product to be made you understand so I started by taking down, doing a big chop, and then I was using the shampoo, the conditioner, the leave-in and the oil. And then clients will come in, they will also like do the treatments, do their hair. But then we now notice that for some type of hair, like in South Africa, right? Remember like 
when you go across every like every place in Africa, the hair the hair texture is different. You understand? Like the hair configuration, the color configuration is very different. So like in this part of Africa, right, they have there are people that have a very very tight curl configuration, and that configuration is quite is quite dry. So even if you use like the leave-in conditioner and the oil, we notice that it doesn't hold the hair, it doesn't keep moisture longer in the hair. So we're now thinking, what's the next thing to be able to add onto this, you know, so that we can lock moisture more? Then we now started making like a hair butter. So we now manufactured the hair butter for it to be able to keep the moisture in. Now I was now I would say like we more like a one-stop hair solution place. So it doesn't matter whether your, your scalp is dry, whether your hair is dry, whether your hair is breaking, we have everything for everybody, you understand? So we're not restricted to anything. So even now, like, um, I think in March, we have a product we call the Hydroacne Gel, which is like, you get people who are balding, but then for some reason, we've noticed that people who are balding, for some reason, like, on the crown of their hair, it gets very itchy and they get like small pimples. So because of that as well, we've done like research and then we bring bringing out products for that as well. So we're going to be like a one-stop place for all your hair needs. So whether you have psoriasis, dermatitis, eczema, whatever you have, like we the one-stop solution for you, to, a place to come to because we're making everything to cater for everybody. So we're not restricted to saying they only have products for kids, no, we have products for everybody.